Hello friends, I am Dr. Rajni Gaur and today I am going to talk about a new topic from the subject language across the curriculum. Today's topic is characteristics of good handwriting and it also include some topics as a subtopic of it like causes of bad handwriting, measures to improve handwriting and difference between formal and informal letters. Now what are the characteristics of good handwriting? The very first I would like to tell you that what N.K. Gandhi said about the handwriting. Fair and legible handwriting makes a man perfect in all walks of life. Bell also said that illegible handwriting in a young man or a woman is a sign of untidy and careless mind. So uh, friends, handwriting definitely reflects the personality of an individual. So what are the characteristics one should follow to improve their handwriting? Uh, the characteristics are first is distinctiveness. It means each letter should have a characteristic forms of its own. The letter should not be distorted or any resemblance with some other letter. Means if you're writing O, that should not be like A, or if you're writing A, look like O. Every letter should have their own characteristics. Second is legibility. A legible handwriting is easy to read and causes no confusion. It is also a reflection of mind and character. In order to bring legibility in writing, the teacher should pay special attention to the five aspects of the cursive writing. First is letter formation, second spacing, third alignment, fourth regularity of slant, and fifth is quality of line. But what is the letter formation that I have discussed in the previous one? Distinctiveness, the formation of letter should be proper so everyone can understand the letter in a same manner. Spacing that while writing the letters, there should be a proper space. Alignment, it should not be aligned uh, either in downward or upward, it should be in a straight line. Regularity of slant, that means we should not use any extra strokes or it should not be too left or right slant. Quality of line, everything should be written in a straight line. Third is simplicity. The letter used in writing should be simple. There should be no unnecessary strokes. Simple letter always appeals more and easy to understand. Size of letters. The size of letter should be moderate and even. The letter should have a due proportion to one another. It means the letter uh, which we use to write in three lines should not be in two lines and the letters which we are writing in two lines should not be go beyond the two lines. Suppose if we are writing curs in cursive E and L, these two letters should have proper size of their own. Regularity of slant. The different letters of word should have erect position. They may be in forward slant, but backward slant should always be discouraged in the class. Uniformity. It refers to a particular style. Good handwriting is always uniform in style. It should be uniform in size, spacing and alignment. And that makes your handwriting very beautiful. The right use of punctuation marks. The punctuation marks should be properly used. Otherwise, they may change the meaning of the content. Suppose if you are putting question mark instead of full stop or you are putting comma instead of question mark, then the meaning of that sentence will definitely change and the person may understood it in another manner. Next is the speed. 
a good handwriting is always a result of reasonable speed the speed should not be fast and not should be too slow proper spacing proper space should be given while writing between the words and the lines in a sentence and between sentences suppose if we are typing on computer in the word so it always follow the equal spacing like uh, 1 or 1.5 in a same manner if we are using uh, cop uh, copies for writing it has the equal spacing between so while writing we need to put distance between two words or the distance between the letters in a word or in a sentence between the sentences in a proper way and that should be same or uniform attractiveness handwriting should be attractive it should be beautiful and appealing to eyes of readers that also makes a wise impact and that also makes a proper impact on the readers Now, what are the causes of bad handwriting or why the students do not have good handwriting? So, what are the causes that works behind it? Teachers should remain cautious while improving writing to students. Imitation of bad examples is a very common cause for a bad handwriting. If the teacher or the parents, those who are teaching them at home, are not good at handwriting then the students will also imitate the same lack of good sitting arrangement writing too near the body or insufficient mobility of thumb that is also a very big reason for a bad handwriting if the sitting arrangement for the students is not proper the desk or the bench they are using for writing is not having the proper height according to the height of the students so that also causes bad handwriting use of fountain pens for ball pens from the early stage we should encourage the students to use fountain pens instead of ball pens poor quality of paper and ink if the paper is of bad quality so while writing on the paper it the the impression of the ink that comes on the back side of the paper and that also the cause of the bad handwriting bad sitting posture if we are not sitting properly while writing if we are lie down we are taking the support of the wall or the desk and we are not sitting in a proper position or the posture that also affects our handwriting and may cause various problems ways of holding pen or pencil or paper if we are not holding the pen or pencil or the paper in a proper manner or we are holding the pen in a in not in a proper way that also causes bad handwriting writing too angular and irregular due to lack of freedom of movement or very slow movement can also be one of the cause for the bad handwriting now these are the causes of bad handwriting then what should we do or being a teacher what should she do to improve the handwriting of the students so what are the measures to improve the handwriting the very first measure is use of four lined notebooks at the initial stages when students starts writing or they starts learning how to write at that time if they use four lined notebooks that makes the habit that how to write and what kind of space or alignment or they should follow proper sitting posture in the class it is very essential that whatever the sitting arrangement is provided to the students from the side of school that is to be very proper so that helps the students to write in a proper manner proper arrangement of desk again it is related to the managerial capacity next is organization of competition in various fields of writing in school teacher or school authorities can organize calligraphy competition or writing competition and other kind of competition which involves writing so the students will develop their uh, writing abilities 
time for practice in the lower classes or at the primary stage we can ask the students to practice for making their handwriting good and that can be possible by providing them cursive books or to ask them to make a writing on daily basis checking mistakes it is in the part of teacher that she should check the notebooks in a proper manner and to find out the mistakes committed by the students and to tell them to remove them or to rectify them so the students will follow the right kind of a pattern to write in the in their notebook proper holdings of pen pen should be holded by the students in a proper manner or in a right way so they can write properly teachers handwriting as a model it is very important the teacher should write in a proper way so students will imitate in a same manner motivation to write good handwriting students should be motivated to write in a proper way use of techniques like calligraphy dictation and copying or transcriptions use of material like a truck of sand kindergarten box flex card exercise or books etc to provide them proper training for good handwriting this is all about the handwriting now we move to the next topic that is difference between formal and informal letter what is the formal letter formal letter is a letter written in formal language in the stipulated format for official purpose and in schools we are used to write applications to the class teacher or the principal that is also one of the way to write the formal letter informal letters written in a friendly manner to someone you are familiar with is called informal letter what are the objectives that work behind the formal letter professional communication is the sole purpose of formal letter but whereas personal communication is the purpose of informal letter format in case of format formal letter follow a prescribed format but informal letter generally do not follow a prescribed format formal letters are always written in first person but in case of business letters and rest of others letter that comes under the category of formal letter is in the third person but informal letter can be written by the students in first person second person or third person to whom we used to write formal letters so formal letters comes the the uh, business college institutes employer organization etc et comes under the category of formal letter whereas friends family acquaintances etc comes under the category of informal letter formal letter always written in the passive voice whereas informal letters are written in the active voice in case of formal letter the sentences are long and complex but in case of informal letter sentences are short and simple size of formal letter is concise and to be very particular by writing that it should not be too long or short. convey the message properly but in case of informal letter we can write it either in the large size or maybe in the concise the way we can communicate our things to the concerned person contraction and abbreviation in formal letter we usually avoid the contraction and abbreviation but in case of informal letter we used abbreviations or contractions thank you friend hope this presentation helps you for teaching how to write in a proper manner or what are the ways to write in a proper way and what are the differences between formal letter and informal letter thank you